All right, let's talk about Hugh Freeze for just a minute. And, man, we talked quite a bit after the 2020 season and then some last year after the 2021 season about all these different bigger name schools, Auburn specifically, but also I think we talked to UCF. Uh, we talked a couple other ones where wouldn't Hugh Freeze be a good fit there, right? And we could never figure out because there was never any fire around it. It was just fan talk. It was just rumors. It was, hey, wouldn't this be a good fit? And, you know, it, you go to a smaller school after you've had stuff like what he had happen at Ole Miss, and you would think that you'd find a way to clean up your act, and maybe then you could work your way back up the ladder because there's no doubt that he is a fantastic football coach. Just absolutely fantastic coach. He has been able to make it work at Liberty. But I know that there are some at Auburn. There were some at Tennessee as well, I mean, et cetera, that wanted him to be their head coach. But this latest example is a big reason why he is not even getting a sniff for any of those kinds of jobs. Chelsea Andrews was a student at Liberty University. And she was sexually assaulted. She sued the school because the school tried to cover it up, etc. And she won the case. Now, I don't know the full details about it. Uh, apparently, there's a podcast and a show and whatnot about everything that had been going on at Liberty. But she tweeted this out over the weekend and said, Why is the head football coach at Liberty University DMing me during and after my lawsuit with Liberty at almost midnight? when I did not tag him, and I have not responded to the other DMs he has sent over the months, publicly naming so he can see that I do not want direct contact with him. And you see here a screenshot where Hugh Freeze sent her a direct message and said, you don't even know Ian McCall. He is the most Jesus-like leader I have, dot, 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 right? You, you don't see the full message, but you can see that he has reached out to her. Ian McCall is the athletic director at Liberty. Ian McCall was the athletic director at Baylor before this. And he was, of course, let go or he resigned or whatever the situation was because of all of the sexual assault that was going on on campus in Waco. Now he's at Liberty and there are some of the same things happening there. This is cringy and creepy. But it is not the first time that Hugh Freeze has gone into somebody's DMs because he does this often. Anybody, it, this is a man that Googles his own name. He does a Twitter search for his own name or for his school, etc. because you don't even have to tag him and he will send you direct messages. I know multiple media members that have gotten direct messages from him and, and fans alike. There are a lot of fans that have stated stuff and not tagged him, just put his name in a tweet, which means he had to go search for it to be able to find it. But they will say something about him, and he will come back at them, or he will tell them thank you, or he will, you know, he he cannot stop himself from having a direct conversation with people. And if you're a head football coach, you have got to be able to do that, especially if you were going to be in one of the bigger conferences. At Liberty, like Hugh Freeze is a big enough name that of course there are going to be people talking about him, especially if your team is good. If your team is good, there's going to be a lot of people talking about it. I would hate to see what it would look like when he does not have a good football team and people are trashing him and his coaching style, etc., and what he would actually say to those people. But this situation, uh, I mean, this is a regular occurrence, and it's been going on forever. You should go listen to Stephen Godfrey over on the Split Zone Duo podcast because he brings this up pretty regularly. I can't wait to hear what he's got to say about this one because, man, this is this is something else. I will say that. This is something else. Uh, this is a big difference, right, between him and Lane Kiffin and what Lane Kiffin does with Twitter. We talked about whether or not Lane Kiffin would be able to get some bigger jobs because of the amount of quote-unquote fun that he has on Twitter, but it's completely different. Like, he's he's still somewhat tame. He just does a lot of corny things that are very entertaining on Twitter. Hugh Freeze does not do that. Hugh Freeze, I'm not going to say that Hugh Freeze attacks people. I am going to say that uh, 
reaching out to somebody that was involved in a lawsuit against your university where you work, especially somebody that has accused uh, sexual assault, probably not in your best interest to come at them and tell them that they don't even know Ian McCall um, or anything like that. There's no need to defend somebody that is in a lawsuit, etc. Like all you're doing is getting yourself involved in the conversation and that does nothing for you. It does nothing for the victim or the alleged victim. It does nothing for your AD. Why on earth would you continue trying to do this? And when somebody writes an article about you, what good does it do for you to go and try and have a conversation with them about what you think is wrong with the article? Like, there's nothing that you can do to win in this situation, and yet he does it time and time again, and he's been doing it for as long as I can remember, since when he began at Ole Miss, really. Uh, again, Hugh Freeze is a fantastic football coach, but this is the exact reason why he is not getting a sniff from some of these bigger jobs. It's going to take a long time before he ever gets a shot at something bigger than Liberty. And, I I mean, you keep doing stuff like this, and even Liberty might have to take a long look at what's going on here. So I'm curious to see what ends up happening, but, man, I mean, that is that is something else. Hugh Freeze, brother, quit having the Twitter fingers, man. Come on, I'm, I'm reaching out to you. I'm talking to you. You got to stop doing this kind of crap. Good gracious. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.